guys, it's Ashley and today I have a review for y'all of some acrylic or plastic stamping plates that I have ordered off of AliExpress. Uh, Cece and Sissy was the ones I believe who started the acrylic stamping plates and made them popular but they're really expensive on there so I saw these on AliExpress and I figured I would order them to see if they worked because it was only $6.99 for 10 of these plastic plates. And it even came with this little stamper here, but I'm not even going to try this out because I hate these little stampers made like this one with the burning passion. Like I don't even know what material they're made out of, but they don't pick up good at all. So if you tried stamping before and you were using one of these, that's probably why you had problems and why you thought it was hard. So... I'm going to open all of these plates real quick and then I'll be right back. So I thought it was a set of stamping plates 1 through 10 and they were all supposed to be white like this one and look like this. But for some reason three of my plates are replaced by these plates, these pink ones. And not only did they do that, but they are all three doubles of each other. So I'm going to contact the seller and see if they can send me the plates that are missing from the set or at least two different plates that are not the same. And if I get to keep these plates, I'll probably have a giveaway with them. So I'm not gonna open the other two pink plates because they're, like I said, the same as this one. So I'm only gonna review one of the pink ones in case I decide to have a giveaway with the other two plates. So these are kind of hard to see because it's white on a white background, but this one you have these different patterns. You've got a fishy pattern here, kind of like a shell pattern here. You've got leaves, some abstract designs, waves, um, just different tribal designs. You have a ballerina and some more leaves. And then this is plate number two. And you have Kia Ora here, a kiwi bird, some it's almost like cherries. And while I'm at it, I think these are actually dupes of bundle monster plates. So, and here we have like the sun above a mountain. We've got hibiscus flowers and different prints. All different tribal designs and flowers and they're just beautiful tropical plates for the summer this looks like bamboo and leaves and here is plate number three you have love and a butterfly and different patterns of oh, lots of butterflies you've got a peacock I think this is actually my favorite plate in the set it says surfs up, you have Louis Vuitton, you have snails, and then here you have flowers and butterflies and more flowers. It's so hard to see because they're white. Next I have plate number five. You've got flowers, lots of flowers. You've got this abstract chevron print. You've got a witch on a broom, a motorcycle, different mustaches, some fish, Victoria's Secret and Gucci, and more of your patterns. Here is plate number six. Here you have just a whole bunch more of your different geometric patterns. You've got a tree more of your flowery designs. This reminds me of one of those tiki posts. And here we have plate number eight. And this is just a whole bunch more of your geometric patterns. And it says keep calm and live aloha. And then over here you have Kind of like flowers and arrows, I'm thinking. And here is plate number nine. You have some beautiful roses over here. 
these flowers here. I think there's some sort of tulip. You've got more of your geometric patterns, some more leafage, and these are like abstract leaves. Then you've got stars and more of your geometric patterns. And then on this little plate that I'm not really fond of the images because they're all like just your single tiny images, but you have these flowers and a violin and some little cupids and then just different, mostly just flowers. All right, so real quick, I'm gonna do some swatches over some pop sticks and we're going to see if I can get these to pick up and what stamper heads will work on them. I'm so sorry that these stamping plates are so hard to see because they are white. And right off the bat, I can tell you they're harder to scrape off than a regular stamping plate, but it picked up nicely. And it transferred well as well. So I'm just going to clean this plate off with a little bit of acetone to see if it damages it in any way. And it seems that it did absolutely nothing to the plate. So they are acetone proof. And I don't get any of that smell that you sometimes get if you get acetone on a pop stick. So I would definitely say that these stand up to acetone. I don't think that this image scraped off very well, but I'm going to try and yes, as you can see, there is lines because it didn't scrape off very clean. And yeah, they transfer onto the pop stick. So I'm going to try this image again. And again, I do not have a clean pickup. It didn't scrape off perfectly. So I'm going to try it again. And it seems to have done much better scraping down really hard and sideways. And yes, the image pickup is perfect. Next, I'm going to try this butterfly, and I'm going to try to use a more flexible scraper, which I don't think is going to work. And no, it did not scrape off very clean at all. So I'm going to go back to using the firm scraper, which it seems like you're going to have to use a firm scraper. And as you can see, you're going to have to press down really hard when using these plates.
and here are the swatches and overall the plates are okay as long as you don't mind having to press down hard to scrape and sometimes having to still scrape multiple times to get the image to scrape off clean so it'll pick up nicely um, other than that they are good the images do pick up really well once you scrape them off clean and it's just a really weird feeling for me that scraper pressing against the plastic plate because it feels kind of grainy when you're scraping I don't e I don't even know if that's how you would describe it but it just it's this grainy feeling when you're scraping against these plastic plates from Aliexpress so just be in mind that if you order them you are going to have to use a firm scraper and you're going to have to press down harder than you would usually have to to make an image work and if you like this video and would like to see more please don't forget to subscribe and as always bye guys thank you so much for watching